Well, now that first quarter clearance count, I guess that set the time for us, I don't know. Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah, it was, we were really poor. Centre bounce or centre square plus stoppages. I don't know what it was in the first quarter. Something unbelievable. It just got smashed. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, who knows? Who knows? Uh, I mean, that was uh, we played so well for so long against Collingwood that, but the last quarter was disastrous. And we sort of followed up our performance last week in Adelaide, which was uh, poor. Um, I, I thought at least today we showed some fight, you know, to to stay in the to stay in the game to a certain extent, as in you know not going to get blown away by 15, 15, 16 goals. But we need to do a lot of work at our stoppages uh, and our midfield in general. Um, our capacity uh, when we got it into our forward line, um, we only went in thirty one, thirty two times or something. But when we went in, I mean, we scored over fifty percent of the time. 30% accuracy rate, so highly efficient when we went in. But uh, no, to go in, we, we just couldn't get any volume, which, uh, you know, we've got to look at what we're doing in the midfield. In quarter time, is that as disappointing as you've been this year, given the performance last week? You expected it was well, we certainly we expected uh, a lot better than that, actually. It was I mean, it was very surprising to, uh, you know, with the, the stoppage work in particular. So, and the guys I thought prepared really well for during the week. Um, so, the yeah, direct answer to your question is uh, really, yeah, we we're, were really disappointed in that quarter time. It's been ongoing issue, Neil, the, the clearances in recent weeks. Mm. You not identify exactly what the issue is, or just can't fix it at the moment. We just can't fix it, Andrew, at the moment. Uh, we had a real good look at it after the Gold Coast game. We, even though we won that game, there was, uh, once again, I think it was, you know, from a differential twenty or something in that in that range, so uh, we've got to spend we've got to put a lot more resource time resource into it, uh, and we will do that because it's hurting us badly. You know, it's uh, just it's producing too much pressure all over the all over the grounds, making us uh, be super efficient in the forward line, which we were today, even though we couldn't get a result. And uh, clearly, the the, the centre bounce stuff is just putting too much pressure on our back line. Spoken a lot about people, a lot of kids, and you're going to get that inconsistency just because you're re-rooting re- mm. your team. Mm. Do you have some players who just at the moment aren't ready for AFL, you know, because of the injuries you've got, that just you know, shouldn't be? Um, the answer to that, Roger, is that it's uh, because of the way we're playing, and maybe and maybe the the number that we've got, some of them look like they're not ready for it. You put those same players, and let's not let's not worry about names, but put 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 those same players in a side that's up and running, got some more experience around it, and you'd probably say, you know, they're pretty capable. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's uh, and that's that's what we're going through at the moment. That's why we've uh, we've got to just keep strong with what we're doing. Uh, and, I, and I, look, guys, I thought they, as a team, as distinct from last week, as a team, I thought they held their spirit today to at least keep fighting on the ground and. Uh, you know, we never looked like we were going to win because we couldn't get any fluency with the ball. I mean, it was just it was just a matter of you know we might win one and just bang it forward and tip it. We take a catch, and so there was no there was no real powerful movement of our ball movement. So um, that's that's where we're at with it. Well, I think we were calculating if we bang in ten by another twenty five. Game, mm. it really does almost assure you some short term pain, doesn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, and we're getting it. We're getting it, but we've got to what we've got to be really careful of. Uh, as a club is um, be really diligent in our assessment of what we're doing. I, we understand that. You know, I understand exactly what you're talking about there. And there's a fine line between being uh, really demanding in areas of game, irrespective of whether you've played 10 games or 150 games, um, versus what you give because of the statistic. And, uh, that's, and that's my job to be, to be very clear with our group on that. Uh, last week I didn't like their fight at all. Uh, this week, I, you know, they, they kept their spirit. So last week is just is just not on. Whereas this week, uh, I saw some fight and some effort to try and stay in the game when we when we use some different structures. Where, where to now for the group? Yep. What's the view going forward now? Where well, do you feel like you're at, and what's well, we're we're a fair way from where we want to be. Obviously, Andrew. Obviously, we're we're a fair way. Uh, we just we, we. I mean, in this in this competition, you have no choice. Like we've got a game coming around in uh, in six days for us. 
uh, and that's the reality of it. So we've got to regroup, do whatever work we can in a week, in a, in a short week. And, you know, obviously you can't do a lot. So if you're trying to fix some areas, you know, the, the volume of time that you can spend to try and fix that becomes minimal. Um, so that, that's why we've got to make sure that we keep our competitive spirit. Because if you lose that, uh, you've got nothing. You've got nothing. Is the final still very much part of the plan? Finals is always is always part of our planning, and you always got to pull back to finals what it looks like and the quality of football that you have to play to play in finals. Uh, but Andrew, clearly, we are so far away from playing finals type footy or a footy good enough to string enough games together. Um, that's the last thing we're talking about as a footy club. Back at the clearance, is it mainly structural? Is there a mindset thing there that your guys do that hunting the footy? Yeah, not sure. I need we need this, we need to spend a lot of time on it. Okay, because uh, uh, with the players we've got in there, Thompson, Douglas, Vince, Van Burlo, Dangerfield, Sloan, um, I'd have a, I'd, uh, I'd have a real debate if anyone questioned their capacity to win a hard hard footy and their attitude. So it's uh, it, we probably just need to look at some of the structural things that we're doing. Yeah, how, how are you holding up? Uh, obviously, more, a bit more heat yeah. now. How are you holding up all the pressure? No, no, I mean, um, I mean, I said during the week, Andrew, that uh, I've never enjoyed it more. Now, what I mean by that is that this is a huge challenge for our footy club with the squad that we've got to, be able to, to, to build it and to build it as quickly as we possibly can. So we give our supporters some short-term enjoyment, if we can, but also looking to the future of what it can be like, you know, down the track. Uh, so, you know, we always keep our eye on the dual purpose of what we're trying to do there. So that's and that's the reason I say it. So uh, no, I'm uh, these sort of days and l last week and, and to a, to a certain extent these sort of days just uh, increase the resolve. Yeah, and you obviously down the track, you're pretty confident there's some bright future ahead for the club. Yeah, I mean, our supporters at the moment would say, well, how can you say that, Neil? Because uh, you know they can only believe what they see. All right. Um, but uh, uh, I just, I, I, I'm still really confident with this group, Andrew. That will, you know, it'll end up being very, it'll end up being a very good group. We've seen signs early in the year. Um, certainly in the last two weeks, you'd have to say, well, you know, we haven't seen that. Uh, but I've, I've seen enough. What we've just got to get the consistency. We've actually got to, we've actually got to build some trust with our supporters, so they don't, we don't get, you know, this, this up and down and all over the shop. Uh, and trust is only built by you know the, the quality of of your play week in week out and, and clearly at the moment um, you know as a as a footy team we're not we can't be trusted to play good footy week after week after week. Do you fear that all Neil if you get a few more calls like the last couple of weeks you won't get the opportunity to bring this group yourself? As in for myself? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, uh, once again, that's that won't be for me to decide, will it? I don't make decisions on that. I mean, I've got to have an involvement in it because, I mean, if I didn't want to do it, uh, I'd have a responsibility to say, well, you know, I shouldn't be doing this because I don't want to do it. Clearly, you've heard here that I'm, I'm, I'm keen to continue. But in the end, you know, it's uh, Ross Lyon made a great, I think, a great statement a few weeks ago. The board appoints coaches as they should, as they should. Um, all I can say at the moment, the board's never has, has only offered me support. Now that support's not unconditional, guys. Okay, I haven't got a lifetime membership. The coach, the Adelaide Footy Club, clearly I haven't got that, and I don't don't expect to have it. But they'll make good decisions. Okay, and it's important I make good decisions as well. Is that answer? Yep. Did you view um, Richard Douglas's collision with um, McMillan in the first quarter, just as being two guys going at the footy? I think so, Andrew. I haven't had a close look at it at the moment. I don't know. I haven't. I didn't. I was looking at that. They didn't show it on the replay from where I was sitting, so I haven't had a good look at it. Well, not so much a culture. Uh, it's always a challenge, you know. No matter what the st what the state of your of your squad or team, uh, if you're not playing good footy, that's always a challenge, for, you know, from a leadership point of view to, to keep to keep the spirit. Um, at the moment, that the, the spirit aspect of our game hasn't hasn't been an issue for me. Okay, uh, even even now, I mean, they're obviously very disappointed in in their performance. Um, but that's that's because if your spirit goes. Uh, you got nothing, and so that's that's a major 
situation that I've got to you know make sure or stays there as long as we can. No, I don't think so. Thanks, okay, thanks, guys. Okay. <laughs>